Hello everybody, my name is Aiden Miles and welcome to Blitz Studios and in today's video we are going to be going on about my characters that I believe will actually die in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, when I say die, I do not actually mean turn into a heartless, turn into a nobody. Full on actual die, similar to how Ericus died in Birth by Sleep and how Streletia died in Union Cross. That is what I mean. Now, on this list, all these characters are in no particular order. I'll be sharing my opinions on why I believe I they will die. But take this as this is not fact. This is not the characters that will die in Kingdom Hearts 3. This is subjectively my opinion when it comes to characters dying in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, this would be a top 5, but this is not a top list because this is my more of an opinionated list. But obviously, the characters will be sorted into number. I was going to include Master Xehanort on this list, but we sort of know that he's going to die because, well, Kingdom Hearts 3 is the end of the Xehanort, 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 Xehanort saga. So, for this video, please drop a like and please share this video around with any Kingdom Hearts fans. Share it, like, with your friends and stuff. And may your heart be your guiding key. Anyway, without further ado, let us get in to the list. Now, most of the entries on this list are probably going to be more controversial in terms of the characters I pick. But the most controversial is probably who we're talking about first. I believe Lee slash Axel will die. But I don't think he will at the same time. Hence the reason why he's number four. I personally believe out of all the people on here, Axel is the least likely to die. Why? Well, Axel's character arc is sort of almost finished. What can happen to Axel after, you know, the whole Xehanort stuff blows over, and if we do actually see Shion and Roxas come back, which by the looks of things in Kingdom Hearts 3, probably is going to happen, because keep in mind, Roxas comes back, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Namora's going to find a way to, you know bring Shion back. So, in terms of Axel, I believe he would die sacrificing himself to you know, save Sora, Roxas or uh, Shion, or hell, maybe even Kyrie. We don't know, maybe feeling remorse for his actions. Um, but in terms of that, yeah, I do believe it is likely to Axel for, to die as his arc is almost finished. Now, that's probably the main point of discussion that I'm going to bring up with the majority of this character. Well, not majority, it'll be another character on this list later on. But in terms of that, yes, I do believe Axel will die. But the thing is, Axel has died many times before and actually came back. Before he died in Chain of Memories, he was fine in Kingdom Hearts 2. He died in Kingdom Hearts 2, he came back in Dream Drop Distance. And hell, he was even in Birth by Sleep as a kid. So, Axel is one of those characters that... Like he said, I will keep bringing you back. Axel will probably keep coming back anyway, because obviously he is a fan favourite. But I do believe Axel would be one of the characters that is more likely to die than any of the other characters on this list. I mean, not on this list. He's the least likely on this list. More any other characters uh, in the franchise, I mean. I, d I do my videos non-scripted. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to put up with it. Next up is a character that is one of my least favourite characters in the entire series, but I do believe he is likely to die, and that's not just because I dislike the character. Yen Sid, or as everyone calls him, Disney spelled backwards. Um, basically, the reason why Yen Sid might die is because this man really hasn't done anything in the franchise. All he's really done is tell... Uh, Aqua Ventus needs to be kept safe, which sent Aqua to Land of Departure, which turned the Land of Departure into Castle Oblivion, which basically means Yen Sid technically caused Chain of Memories. Also, he was the one who sent Sora and Riku on his mark ma mastery exam. And what happened? Oh, well, Sora almost became the 13th vessel. Uh, well done, Yen Sid. You're the biggest idiot in this entire franchise. So, the reason why I believe Yen Sid might die is because, yet again, he's done nothing. And if he does decide to do something, like actually get out of his chair, because we know he's this big, powerful Keyblade Master, but he's retired. If he somehow wants to aid in the final battle, I reckon Xehanort will just kill him, in my opinion. I reckon Xehanort will just be like, oh, hi there, die, basically. But the thing is, if Yen Sid does die, that would probably shift the room to make Mickey 
the actual leader of all of the Keyblade wielders. We know he's the leaders of the seven Guardians of Light. We know that. But if he becomes the leaders of all the Keyblade wielders, if Yensid does die, that actually might shift the possibility as if we know Terra is actually in control of Xehanort. If they do find a way to free Terra, we'll get onto Terra in a bit. Uh, subtle hint on who else is on this list. It might actually mean Mickey has to relinquish his position to become a Guardian of Light, and Terra then comes into Mickey's possession. Hell, or even Roxas comes into Mickey, Mickey's position, and then maybe, I don't know, Riku or Sora becomes the leaders of the Seven Guardians of Light. I don't know. I just believe Yensid will die because he hasn't really done a whole lot, and I just think that he he's not worth anything in the franchise. Like... To be fair, yes, he's sprawled on the majority of the events in the franchise, and I know I'm going to get a backlash for saying this, but I do not believe Yen Sid will, like, last after Kingdom Hearts 3, in my opinion. If he does, he does. That's great, but I personally believe Yen Sid will die. Next up, we move on to a character I don't want to talk about on this list, but due to, well, many a reasons that I put into the qualifications of this list, he fits into this category. Number two is Riku. I don't want Riku to die, but at the same time, I believe it is highly likely he will. Well, not highly likely, likely he will. Why? His character arc's finished. His character arc wrapped up in Dream of Distance, and obviously they're now opening a new possibility in 0.2. Obviously, them going off to save uh, Aqua and Kingdom Hearts 3, which I believe won't actually happen because uh, they'll find a way to shift Aqua out. Riku and Mickey will get out on their own. Sora goes to Destiny Island and frees Aqua because remember, at the end of the 0.2 beginning, nothing's a coincidence in Kingdom Hearts. Sora grabbed for Aqua's hand. Nothing's a coincidence. Nomura said that himself. Like, you see that fine detail in a bush? Fucking damn. That's a good bush. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, for the... <laughs> game off track. Um, in terms of Riku, his arc's finished, realistically. Realistically, and obviously with 0 0.2, yes, they can open up more possibilities with Riku now being, uh, I believe, the sixth out of all the uh, Guardians of Light, the third Keyblade Master um, in there. So four of them actually have to become Masters before the final battle. For for the final battle. But in terms of Riku and how he would die, yet again, I believe he would actually sacrifice himself to save Sora or Kairi. Kairi, that seems like what Riku was, would do because he's Riku. This is Riku we're talking about and Riku is literally one of the best characters in the franchise. No arguments about that. You shall not fucking argue, me, argue with me. Like, boy. Anyway, in terms of Riku and Riku's death, yeah, I would imagine that it would go along the lines of him sacrificing himself to, you know, save Sora and Kairi. But in terms of Riku dying, yes, I believe it's believable. But at the same time, I don't want it to happen as Riku is one of my favourite characters. But in terms of Riku's death, it would make sense and it would actually fit. Because it would give Sora an interior motive to actually go kill Xehanort. Because Sora doesn't really have a motive to really go and kill Xehanort. We know Xehanort needs to be socked, but Sora is just sort of doing his thing. Like, Sora don't have a motive to kill Xehanort, unless he's counting what he's done, like, when Sora finds out what he's done to Aqua, Ventus, and Terra. It's like, oh shit, we gotta kill this guy. But in terms of that, yeah, Sora doesn't have a motive for killing Xehanort, so maybe one of, like, either Riku or Yen Sid dying will actually give Sora a big motive. Anyway, Riku gets into number two, and now... The most likely character I believe to die in Kingdom Hearts 3 is... I said this list was in no particular order. I lied. The number one spot goes to Terra. I believe Terra is actually the most likely character to get the chop in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I know a lot of people like Terra, but in my opinion, Terra is my least favourite Keyblade wielder out of all of the main cast in Kingdom Hearts. But the reason why I believe Terra will go is because... He's technically part of Xehanort's vessels right now. Technically. So if Xehanort dies, and we've got to kill the Xehanorts, that means if we do predict that Terranaut is one of the 13 Seekers, which I'm pretty sure Terranaut will be, Terranaut's going to die. Which, unless they find a way to get Terra back, Terra's dead as well. Also, that definitely confirms that Ericus is dead, because obviously Ericus is inside Terra, which Xehanort is inside Terra as well. So it's a bit... Ooh, weird. Kingdom Hearts is confusing, ladies and gentlemen. But in terms of Terra's death, yeah, 
I, I generally believe it's likely. Terra seems like the character that would generally actually throw himself in front of a gun for like art uh, for these three characters, Riku, Aqua, and Ventus. That's what I believe would happen. Terra would probably sacrifice himself. Yet again, a lot of characters in Kingdom Hearts would die through sacrificial means because like taking like a hit or taking a, I don't know, bullet? Do we have like a, bit, a, a beam of darkness? Because Kingdom Hearts is a lot, is like very heavily around the themes of friendship if you haven't know, noticed the whole my friends are my plower cliche. But in terms of that, yeah, I believe Terra would get the chop as also... I don't think Terra is going to be a Guardian of Light, in terms of my opinion. I think the final spot in the Guardians of Light has been taken up by Lee. So, that's personally what I believe. Unless, like I suggested earlier, Mickey becomes the big, like, boss off. If Yen Sid dies, then basically what happens is, either Terra becomes the final Guardian or Roxas becomes the final Guardian. But I personally believe Terra will be the one to die and is the most likely character to die in Kingdom Hearts 3. Purely because I don't think there's enough room for him in the Guardian of Lights. We've already got, I believe, all seven. And I believe the reasons that I presented him sacrificing himself was good in terms of my opinion. Yet again, this this is my opinion. So list your opinion in the comment section below. Off you off you off you go, off you trot. But in terms of terror, I personally believe he will die in Kingdom Hearts. Anyways, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please share this video around with your friends. Please like this video if you want to subscribe. Be my guest. I really, really, really actually care. To be, to be fair, please, I, I, I'm begging of you. But in terms of this video, thank you guys for watching. This has been Aiden Mars representing Blitz Studios yet again. There's the new outro, the whole new branding of this channel. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Aiden Mars. Stay awesome, everybody.